Hey guys, Onyman113 here, and Croc13. Uh, I'm currently uh, video chatting with Croc13 uh, on Uvu. It's me. Yep. So uh, me and him are gonna be doing a video on modding a PS2 for cooling. And uh, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna get my tools ready. So I'm okay, stopping. We're here. back. So. If you want, Zach, feel free to talk. Huh? You can talk casual while I take out screws and stuff. Alright, so. As you guys know, we won't be making any quad videos soon because I kind of got surgery. Yeah. So, those won't be up we till. Won't be making, round we won't winter. be making any quad videos anytime soon. Yeah. And. Well, maybe during the winter. Yeah, you'll probably be better during the winter. What the hell? How'd that get in there? Alright, so you have to move all the little pieces out of the bottom of the case. And from there, you can begin to unscrew the case. What'd you do? I'm getting loose. I forgot. Before I forget. There's one there and one there. Uh, you'll need to pry up both. In order to get under the system, I already did some pre modding to it. Uh, tried thermal paste and removed a little, like, thermal conductor piece, and such. And he's got food. So, I'm just gonna be go back. Okay, I got a question for these guys. Yeah. Okay. You know those play cases that you can cookie sandwich things with the cream inside? Yeah. Do you like them? Because I think they're delicious. Shop in an attic store. I don't care. Like cookie things? Cream. Cream. Oh, come on. I'm in the middle of trying to take out screws and it's not really working. There we go. I was watching Battle Los Angeles on this last night and it started to like overheat. So I don't think the thermal paste set in right. Because I had this like hey, little hey. rubber piece. I'm trying to put it in front of you, Zach. Hey, hey. Yeah. Can you see my face on the camera? I'm on camera. camera. No, nah, I have the camera on the bed. Why? Right? Yeah, I turned up the volume all the way. And Show them my faces. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna finish undoing the screws. Yep, my bad rules. Haha, -ha. I win. Anthony, I can't see the PS2. Oh, my bad. There it is. And that's Zach. And me. <laughs> so, I'm going to put you guys back. We adjust Zach. Anthony. Huh. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, okay, you can see the PS2, right? No, you can't. So. Half of it. I'm trying to get all of it. Now another half. Get them out. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. It was my fault. Not really. Like my AC? <laughs> yeah, I think my AC. <laughs> Left again. Ah, you're kind of sideways. Uh, this mm, continue I'm on gonna do this. But uh, there are three. Yep. There are two others. I mean, uh, already took out one. I've been inside this system numerous times already, so and that noise you're hearing is me not getting a screw right. So uh, it's not stripping, but it's kind of 
by copping on the screw. Because if it was stripping, it would be making a totally different noise. And you're not going to want to lose any of these screws because from what I know the system doesn't run right with out that it'll run but not like it should so try and keep all the screws that one won't come out some of these may require you to kind of pry up on them a little bit you have to kind of jimmy them loose every so often. Alright, so that one's loose. So. I'm happy! <laughs> so, from here, you're going to want to move your expansion bay and just pry up the bottom case. Anthony, guess what? What? I'm getting McDonald's when my dad gets home. Nice. Oh, wow, there's that little rubber plug. I've been looking all Wait, over. Can they hear me? Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> it's Zach. <laughs> alright, I found you a new oh, place. You can... So, ah. alright, from here, you're down to uh, the motherboard, uh, the main power board, and in order to get down to the main board with the motherboard, you have to remove the main power board. Um, also, keep some of these screws a uh, close by and take note of where they all go. There should be four screws to that mount down the uh, hard extension bay and then two here so from here you're gonna want to pull this up gently and then your buttons attached to that you can just pinch the little thing in the side and remove it if you don't feel like removing the top of your case but um Anthony. main power board yeah this is your first dual commentary online yep I hope it gets lots and lots of views so yeah. I'm going to be removing it out of the bottom case. And depending on which version you have, you have to remove the whole button out of the system. And don't try and like tear the wire out or something. It is unpluggable, but I recommend not doing it. Because it's kind of a waste of time. You can move your plastic. And from here, remove your drive for the memory card you can just pull that little tab out lightly and to get it back in there you have to lift that little thing up and close it down on top of it once you get it in so now you're down to the main board um, gonna want to flip it over if you're looking to get right down to the bottom and I'll be right back alright guys a uh, random phone call so uh, wasn't Zach either <laughs> so <laughs> continuing on there's a little plastic piece just kind of lightly pry that up it's kind of stuck in different areas you have to kind of pull a little bit a little plastic piece to protect the surges uh, you're going to want to remove your fan too so there's a little itty bitty plug you might not be able to see me do it but you're going to have to do it very gently very 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 gently which I just may leave it in there which nope I got it out so as you can see very small connector and it goes right there so from back here you're gonna wanna get a smaller Phillips head screwdriver I was using a medium sized for uh, micro and I'm gonna use small for micro and begin unscrewing these two screws and all these silver screws you see throughout the case and Zach's not really being talkative too much. <laughs> and don't lose these little screws either, because they hold your motherboard in place. On this, ah, she had to refilm this morning, from what I guess. So, from here, you can flip your system over. Now, as you can see, it's you can pick it up. But you will realize you can't entirely get it up. So what you're going to want to do is pick up on the fan, switch out for your medium bed again, and unscrew the fan. 
And don't lose these screws either. Remove your whole fan and plug unit, which is right there. And uh, I'm going to be reversing the fan because, as you can see, the fan blows air out, which I want air to blow in. <laughs> Don't you actually kind of think that's a little stupid there, Zach? Actually, what? have the fan to blow air out when the heat sinks are right there and it needs air to blow across the heat sink. It's kind of yeah. pointless. Like, how effective that is that going to be? So I'm going to end up reversing that. If I can, I highly doubt I can. And from the looks of it, I can't. Comes in, but I can't find my flathead. So I'm just going to be using a beat up steak knife. Uh, you're going to want to find these little metal pieces here. And you're going to want to pry them away from the CD drive. And while doing that, pull the CD drive away from them. and your CD drive will come loose and you don't want to pull too hard because there are all these little connectors under there they are a pain to get back in there so you're going to want to unplug them from your motherboard and it's kind of hard not to replace, replace them in the wrong parts You'd not to be mean but you'd have to be entirely stupid to put them back in a place where they don't belong so this one for the laser does have a little locking system but this one you have to pull out and then stuff it back in so put that aside now you can remove your heat sinks I as you can see I have applied thermal paste which I got me and Zach Crocta actually ordered a Cooler Master heat sink for my computer and my computer is an LGA 775 uh, computer set up for the processor uh, we went through the troubles of finding an LGA 775 uh, board and or, uh, processor and come to find out it won't work because gateway has to spin it so you can't modify it like it's at an angle so I have the heat sink sitting all the way over there but I applied a little bit of the Cooler Master stuff that came with the heat, the, uh, damn it, thermal paste, and um, to it, and it didn't really seem to make a little bit of con that much contact. So what I'm gonna do instead of having this whole little chunk thing for the thermal mat, which yeah, real great uh, thermal techniques there. <laughs> uh, really not the best design in the world. So I'm going to tear out a piece for the approximate size of my chips and stuff and lay it across the thing with some of the little heat sinks thermal paste there so I'll transfer heat a little better. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open my thermal paste if I can. Damn it! I'm gonna apply a little bit. Uh, I don't think this is really necess and a necessity, but I guess it would help in a cool manner. Even though PlayStations really don't get that hot, but uh, just gonna apply a tiny, tiny bit, smudge up the old stuff. Uh, just apply it generally wherever it would make contact with the platters. just to get a little better a little better cooling I don't think it would help by much but I've had systems get I've actually owned a couple fatties uh, I think you know you may have known that Zach I think I've owned a couple of PS2 fat boys and yeah. uh, they've all burned up <laughs> all of them so that was kind of a waste So, uh, if you want, if your system's dusty, as if you're in here, um, and you know, it just reminded me, I still gotta post that video of us doing the Xbox. Yeah. 
Still haven't posted that yet. But, uh, your system should be all pretty much set from here. Uh, you can continue on with putting it back down. And another thing I want to make note of, I don't exactly know what these are, these little chips, but I really didn't feel like touching them, cause just in case if they weren't supposed to have anything besides this rubber block here. Uh, didn't really want to mess with them and everything, so I'm just going to kind of like leave them there. And I'm going to begin to put the plastic piece, the metal piece down again. And uh, make sure it's down good. Flip your whole motherboard setup over and begin screwing your screws in. And I'll see you guys upon after screwing them back in. Alright guys, so I'm going to begin with plugging in the fan, which is kind of complicated, because it's such tiny, tiny wires. No way, that only took a half an hour. Your system still running good, Zach? Yeah. Alright, just making sure. Alright, so... The whole fan unit can go back into place. Uh, try not to bend those little metal tabs down there because those are for connectors. And I uh, do believe I need to screw that back down. Stop, damn it, wrong hole. So, I'm down to three minutes of memory. So, screw that down. That's all screwed down. Set to go. Alright, so. Now to get your CD drive back on, uh, you're going to want to file all the cables and I'll plug all of them in because they're all pretty much self-explanatory. Start with the laser one first. It'll help tremendously. Uh, that one was the one I had the lower back. Um, to complete the installation of the CD drive, we're going to attach all the ribbons. And as I said before, uh, attach your CD one first. And don't completely lock your CD drive down either. Try and get it pretty close to locked down, but not locked. Because you still need to be able to lift it up in order to get all these cables in. Now work your way from the back of the PS2 forward. So. Just going to go through and plug all these in. And this is kind of time taken too, because they're bending stuff, so. Now, if they don't fit in the holes, don't force them in it. So, uh, now to flip over, install your main power board and everything back in. So, uh, there will be a connector on the main power board. And you're going to want to line that up with the connector. And don't bend the tabs and don't any of that. And, um... If you want to, this isn't really required to, uh, but I figured mm, I might as well because I may just use this hard drive piece. But that aside, I don't care. But you're gonna want to take your four little screws. They should kind of look like this, and screw them around all four corners. Now note that this is on top of the main power board. Uh, screw that down in all four corners. So. What are you watching? <laughs> uh, one thing I almost did forget to do is uh, if your little ribbon cable fell out, you're going to have to put that back in there too because that's for your uh, CD drive controller and stuff.
But uh, this one's far more complex if you already have the board mounted down. Uh, in which I already have the board mounted down, so it's going to be a little tricky. So that's locked. Guys, uh, me and Zach are back. Uh, and I forgot the screw and a screw from the board, but eh, it was probably down at the other end where it wasn't too necessary. But um, I had to go back and plug in my uh, main power cable, which I'll show you once I move the whole system. But I had to go back and plug in the whole main ca power cable into the board. Uh, go back and uh, connect my ribbon cable for the controller. And uh, so, yeah, I'm curly. But uh, once you're done, you're going to want to mount that all down again. Make sure that's all in. Uh, you're going to want to take your plastics uh, from assembly point. Don't go with bottom. Go top first because it will save you so much trouble with uh, buttons and stuff. Uh, first thing in is your power switch and ejector switch. Alright, so get it lined up. Took me a second to figure that out. I got a little brain there, dead there for a second. But, uh, install your power switch. Alright, so, I'm gonna flip it over. Sorry about that. Uh, install it. Takes a little bit to get it in there. Uh, cause it, the way they have it designed to go in there. It's not like the easiest thing to be dealing with. And then you have to make sure it's all locked down good. Uh, I recommend holding it in there while you do your controller stuff. So, I'm going to have to go ahead and like slide it on the front of the card and the CD drive and stuff. And then your plastic, front plastic is on. Now flip it over, still holding it all tightly together, and add your front plastic. Uh, I do believe I did leave a couple screws out of certain areas, but they're not big of a deal. It'll work without them. Uh, may lead to problems down in the future. Don't really know. Don't really care either. Uh, if you have problems, just tell me in the video responses. Um, maybe I can address that in another video, but... Yeah, uh, move your cables out of the way because you have to screw stuff down. Uh, make sure your plastics mount good because you don't want it to like really hang up and stuff. So I'm gonna begin with these like really long screws, and they go in to the bottom corners down here. You want to gonna screw them down. Don't really over tighten them.